Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police channel. If this is the first time to the channel here, please click on the subscription button on the platform. It is free, it doesn't cost a penny, a cent, a dollar, a pound, a pence, or a Russian ruble. It won't clog up your phone memory or affect your phone. Most importantly, like the video so that it can reach your loved ones, friends, co-workers, enemies and neighbors. Share the video with them on your Facebook account and most of all, comment below. And you can share it on Twitter too. Tell them what you want us you know, to discuss on this channel. As you know, at this channel, I do not like criminals and eat their supporters and benefactors. Yes, I understand. As I've said before, all gunmen must live in fear of losing their life. You understand? Gunmen must not feel comfortable in any way. So, as you know, you know, um, yes, I was a crime fighter, you know, for, yeah, the entire time, you know, in the police was all years fighting crime. You understand? Because it's not every police officer are fight, crime fighters, you know. Some police are thief, and some police are just. Them just idlers, you understand? All them do, you have some police, all them do is just go to work, work and then go play domino and all them see no evil, hear no evil. You understand? So, uh, there's a big abaloo going on, you know, um, about bigger food um, coming out, slamming the government, you know, the GLP government, um, talking about the people suffering. But I wanted to know, you know, and when I when I talk, I don't talk with water in my mouth, you know. Um, from 1989, you know, after the, the Michael Manley winning election, you know, Bigger Ford, you know, Bigger Ford was on the front page of the clean and holding up his fist, you know, walking down Walton Park Road. You understand? That was a sign. That was a sign to show you that he was a PMP police activist, in which, um, based on all the book of rules and the police force policies, that's supposed to, um, you know, warrant for him to be kicked out of the police force based on the rules and regulations of the police force. But, you no, know, no, the force operated and it was PMP government in the police force at the time. Yeah, nothing happened, you know, and he was promoted to inspector. You understand? So it was harder for them to get rid of him then because he was an inspector and stuff. But I wanted to listen to this police officer who served who was serving then too, to show you that, um, you know, Bigger Ford was always a political activist, but you understand, and he's not hiding it. The only thing that I'm disappointed in uh, with Bigger Ford is that he did not come out in support of the police. You understand? I don't see why he's coming out in support of the PMP party when they have done the most destructive things to the police force. But that's how ideologues are, you know, they don't care about the police, you know, they care about the party. You understand? You know, would have, you know, it would be very refreshing if Bigger Ford had came out and chastised the labor right them. You understand? By not um, taking away the FLA and give it back to the police. But as you can see, Bigger Ford don't care about the police you now. And they care about him party, you understand? Because that's how it is in it. It's politics. You understand? As for me, I don't care about no party or anything. I care about the police. You understand? And everything that's going on with the police. You don't hear anything about the police, all these. His grievance is about um is that is that is not his party in power. And he has no control about that. It's the people that voted for the GLP, I understand. You know. Um I am not a I, I am not a political activist. I have never seen myself as a political activist. So that's why I mean, that's why I wasn't even promoted to you. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I was promised uh, all kind of things, you know, just to um, be a part of the political activism in the police force, and I refused. So that is that. Well, I wanted to listen to what this detective is saying about Bigger Ford because he was there, you know. So just listen and learn. Good evening, positive thinkers. Yeah, man, he has long been an activist. Um. I don't know how many persons recall when Superfood and what a top kind of fighter he was. 
uh, when Superfood went on the political platform, shared political platform, then uh, Prime Minister-elect Michael Manley. When Michael Manley won that election on the 9th of February, 1989, Bigger Ford, then a detective sergeant, I think, went on the platform with Michael Manley, bust up a whole champion with folded fist in the air as a detective sergeant. I think that was so uncool. You understand? Know, and it is question no as whether or not this prom- how this promotion came here. Yeah? You have to look at the time when you got promotion and see why PMP promoted him. A man who works hard. You understand know, what I say? I would have deserved promotion by everybody that they do. But you wonder, you know? And this is what happened when you change yourself, especially in service. If you leave the service now and decide to serve the party, you know, I would have a difficulty with that. I would, I would have a problem with him aligned to the PMP or the JLP. But while in service, you, 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 you can't go back. It came in the front page of the Gleaner the following day, the 10th of February, 1989. Anybody can go go, go, go on the Gleaner archives and go find it. The 10th of February, 1989, you can't find it. Me, I tell you from memory, straight from memory. I remember, like yesterday, it was on the front page of the Gleaner. You think that was so, so, so uncouth? Um, if Ford put himself in the firing line by as a detective sergeant, you see, sharing a political platform with a prime minister elect, uh, exposing himself as a staunch comrade, bossing champion, and holding up fists, you don't think that, that, that would affect his credibility? That should have his credibility is in question, you know. Like if you're a policeman, you're supposed to be a policeman. Me did, me did support the Labour Party as a policeman, but you never see me. I put myself in the firing line that way because it must affect your credibility. So, the point I'm making is that why should I accept anything when you say no? After me know about his conduct while I'm being a serving member. It is credibilities on the line, it must be questioned. And that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Now, I'm not going to do the fact that because at that time, 89, yeah, 89, was in the, in the system, we were still in the system. And we take me to the answer that I know the message. We talk about no, is this credibility that is on the line? That is the most, that is more important than the message. Who is somebody with a credibility issue is sending a message? You have to question it. So I'm not doing the fact that where you support how you support. I you would have never see me because I was a professional extraordinaire. Yeah, so as you can only see now, that is one of the most um that's what's one of your learned detective. Not your ordinary detective. good, good, good detective that giving you his take about bigger food and his credibility. But, um, you know, to cut us, you know, um, if you look, uh, I am from, I am from Jonestown, Key Trinity, Gardner is from Rima, Bigger Ford is from Anatone. Um, you know, in the 80s, you know, um, even before, you know, although Trinity has his name, because when it comes down to bad police, you understand, you know, you know, both of them was up there, but. Trinity is on a different level from most, from all of the other police them. Trinity is in a, in a league of, you know, um, my, um, men like Tom Levine. Because Tom Levine is the one that set the pace in you know, a name brand police. You understand? Renita Adams and them, and they uh, be able to them. And because Renita Adams get bad when him all. And him they get bad because him did bad long time. Him get bad because the young people, the people that he had around him. You understand that he could push her on. Yeah, Rennie thought I wasn't a bad police like Trinity. Trinity were my youth and them thing, they growing up at Johnson. Them, the man there, yeah, and you know, same come from Rima. Anyway, when it come on to Bigger Ford and Trinity, because uh, I know most people don't even know. That. Bigger Ford and her brother was a, was a gunman, you know, and in front of them kill him. You understand? And look after that Bigger Ford return police. Trinity had a brother. Who was a bad man and police killed him in 1990. 
and Trinity speed pan him. I look on a Spanish town road on Princess Street. Yeah, him brother shoot up, him brother have one foot. And him shoot up a mobile reserve vehicle and thing. And Trinity go up on the scene and spit pan him. You understand? So, sometimes it's not where you're, you know, it's where you're from. It has nothing to do with where you're going. And the kind of person, Trinity, credibility and character. Nothing, nothing is wrong, you know, um, for a police to be political after leaving. But when you're a police officer serving, you're supposed to be seen as somebody who's impartial. You understand? And that is one I think where Bigger Ford, um, he has ruined his credibility as a police officer. But he was still promoted, you understand? If somebody else, I'd, uh, I'll do, as I've said before, and if you listen to all of my video, 90, 90, 96.9 percent of the police officers that not have work that I have worked with serve within the police force. They did not hide to tell you that they are PMP. They are PMP first, PMP second, PMP third, and police fourth. They are PMP, they banned PMP, they, dead, they were dead PMP, and they would do anything for PMP. You know, those high police that are danger, what you call them, ideologues, because they cannot think. As for me, I, I was born and raised in a PMP community called Jonestown. It's a PMP that describes my community. So that's why you never hear me tell anyone to me a PMP. Yeah, and the reason why I'm saying that. In the ghetto, in Jonestown, where I'm from, the culture that the PMP has embedded and implanted in the people's brain. Young men, if you if you um, visit Jonestown right now with a with a mobile library for young young people there to read and expand and get knowledge about themselves and you know um, anything anything of interest that they can read. I'm telling you, that is not something that they're going to love you for. But if you go there with a, a, a careful a gun and give it to each young man, you're like God to them. And that is what the PMP has done to my community. You understand? So, you know, I do not. I, I As I've said before, I rather the, the person who give me the book and the person who give me the gun. You know, as I've said, Bigger Ford, um, what I'm disappointed in is that the man, he went um, to the PMP conference. It's not like, well, I don't know what kind of activist he is because it's not like he's a part. I don't know if he's a part of the PMP hierarchy. But, and he's talking about the other police officers. But when he almost was serving, you know, as I even, my last little stint I worked with him, um, he must never tell anyone that he's a labor writer, you understand? But people know that he was a labor writer, you understand? So, and all of them, they are in a, in a circle and all of that, you understand? So don't really watch who you hear bigger for talking about Amos. Because all of them are friends. I can tell you that, you know, all of them, you understand, they do all the little things together and one and two little things. But, you know, bigger Ford should have addressed um, the FLA thing and expose the corruption that's going on there. And, you know, saying that the police, to highlight that the police, when the police were there, they weren't giving criminals any firearms. And, you know, they should return it to the police. That would be a better thing for him to say. That is in my opinion. You understand? Bigger Ford know me, and I know him very well. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, if he more have to respond to me and him thing, I say, you know, what boy, anything about Porter, but I can't respond to bigger food too, you know. But respect, man, you understand what I'm saying? Super, you know, him, him cool, you know, you know, you understand what I'm saying? One thing I know him back then and him thing that him, you know, bigger food love hard working police and thing. You understand? I know same don't like police where pedophile and all them thing and you know and, and thief. But you know, I just that's how it is, you know. You understand? So as them say thief, don't like say thief with long bug and them thing. Like me, I don't like thief period. You understand? But if this is the um if this is the first time to the channel, remember as I said before, subscribe, share the video, like the video, and most importantly, comment below. One of one all the best here. And bigger forward, next time the marks your things, man. You know, don't talk about the PMP, talk about the police. 
and the FLA, because the PMP have done more damage to the police force. Remember, the PMP take away immigration from the police. Which body you know, is secure by civilians? It's normally law enforcement. The PMP took away that from the police. The PMP took away um, the issuing of guns to the police. And I can go on and on and on. The PMP is the one that read the, the PMP is the one that gave us um, the first in civilian investigative body till it reached all the way now to Indicom. Indicom is a is a brain child of the PMP. So focus on crime and that's how we're supposed to nobody in a politics politics thing. Would I expect more Renita Adams here come out, come do them thing they are gone daily, but well, I never expect say yeah, come to that food, but you know, to each his own, you understand? Like for me, you can't ask me I know political hurry um party, but you know, me, me not support neither PMP nor GLP. Me support the police. Cause me not like criminal. Big time. All the best.